Hi everyone, my name is Chin Chin Chen. Today I'm going to talk about the study titled Categorizing Urban Space Based on Visitor Density and Diversity, the View Through Social Media and Data. Density and diversity are key aspects of the urban environment. Density is often considered as a prerequisite for a vital and sustainable city, and diversity is important for fostering a dynamic and active city life. However, many evaluations of urban space only focus on the density-based measures where diversity of people is overlooked. Therefore, we propose a visitor-based approach looking from the user dimensions to quantify the two concepts. We take the Singapore as a case study and use anonymized Twitter data to inform home locations of users in a 300 meter grid cell resolution, which is used to construct home to destination networks. We then calculate a local density that makes the density in a location relative to the density in its one kilometer laboring area. After that, we define diversity as the variety of a visitor's home locations to each place. We differentiate visitors by 24 zones based on different distance and directions and compute diversity based on the Shalom Diversity Index. The derived density and diversity, as we can see from here, are uncorrelated variables, which are then used to classify an activity level in four categories. More specifically, high density, high diversity places are often large scale shopping malls or landmark destinations. High density, low diversity places are located at dense residential community. Low density, low diversity places are commonly landed property neighborhoods with single urban functions. But what I would like to point out here is the low density and high diversity categories. Places such as the green recreation spaces, such as the parks or sports stadiums are identified within the group. However, these places with diverse visitors can be easily overlooked if we only focus on the density. So as we can see, although both the density and diversity of visitors play an important role for the vitality of the city, the two concepts should be treated as independent, uncorrelated variables as to be considered together. So the study further widens the use of social media data for urban analysis by adding the dimension of diversity to existing density-based approaches for better understanding our urban spaces. That's all. Thank you.